Today I'm going to show you how we make rice pudding in an instant pot. Take three quarters of a cup of basmati rice, wash and soak it. And then take two cans of evaporated milk, add all of that to the instant pot and put it on the rice setting. When you open the instant pot, the rice will be fully cooked. To this, you have to add half a cup of whole milk and use a potato masher to mash down the grains. Add half a cup of sugar and stir it in. Remove the kheer or rice pudding and put it in your serving dish. Top up with almond slivers, saffron threads and lots of cashews. I also like to add cardamom and bay leaf for aromatics when I'm boiling my rice and milk. Just remember not to add sugar to the instant pot when you're making your kheer. That's the last thing that should go in. This is one of the things that we made in our class today. The rice special. We also made vegetable biryani. We made some lemon rice and we made this rice kheer. Some people also like to add rose syrup to the top of their kheer. You can serve this chilled or warm. It's totally up to you. It's absolutely a delicious and easy dessert and you don't have to spend hours making it anymore if you have an instant pot or pressure cooker. I hope you'll give this recipe a try and you'll come back for more such recipes to my channel, The Queen's Curry Kitchen. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.